back to school and beyond. According to the National Retail Federation, the average K-12 parent will spend $100 per child on school supplies. Tia Trudgen joins us live to find out just how much parents can expect to spend when they shop online. Tia, what are you finding? And I know you have some tips to help us save. I certainly do, Elizabeth, and I'm finding that there are some major discrepancies between prices of the same items across different stores. Now, I'm going to show you the list of supplies, well, not necessarily the list, the carts of supplies that I put together from Amazon and then from Target of the same things. They're not necessarily the same brands, but I have this list from Bothwell Middle School. I'm using the sixth grade list as a reference. I went and I added everything on the list to the cart besides a couple of things and I'll tell you why. I did not add a gym clothes, white t-shirt, gym shoes, short, short sweatpants to the list because I feel like that is something that all children have at home. They have an extra pair of clothes that they can keep in their gym locker and then a calculator because in my experience in middle school you really don't need to own your own calculator and you certainly won't need it on the first day of school. So otherwise I went through, I added everything on the list from this cart. Now if you have a child at Bothwell Middle school you probably have this list if you have a child at any other school you probably have a list real similar to this one if not exactly the same you can find them at any retail store walmart target Anyway, so first we're going to look at this Amazon list. And I don't know about you, but when I think about Amazon, I think about deal shopping and not being so expensive. But I was a little bit surprised here. $104.07 is the total for all of these items. So let's take a look at what we have. Headphones, apparently that is on the required list of school materials, which I was kind of shocked by these back in my day when we had headphones at school, those were taken away and kept at school because you weren't supposed to have those. But they say you should have a pair now, well, because they give Chromebooks to all the students. So that is apparently something that the students need to uh, cover for themselves, is the Chromebook cover. Oh, again on the list, book covers. I did not add book covers to the cart because you can do those for free with the grocery bags. So kind of I'll scroll slow here some of the things that shocked me on Amazon were the prices of binders I couldn't really find any binders under the four dollar range whereas when I was shopping at Target shopping in person they were a dollar two dollars maybe more this was the cheapest backpack I could find online again an obvious money saving tip for backpacks would be to one reuse your backpack or two buy a secondhand backpack. But once students get to middle school, not only do their aesthetic preferences start to change, they start to have uh, heavier tech textbooks. So if you have a child going into the sixth grade, that might be a good time to update the backpack. So anyway, Amazon total, $103. Um, over here on Target, I was able to save a little bit of money, $73.33 for the same items just different brands. They have a lot of their store brands here, as you can see, 69 cents, $2.99 for this pencil pouch at Target, as opposed to the pencil carrier at Amazon, which was about 69. So once again, I got the same items for $30 less at Target. So if you're going to be doing your shopping online this year, my biggest tip for you is to just pull up different websites on your computer and add the cheapest things from each website and then order and go. And then you don't even have to make it to the store. But if you do plan to uh, do some in-store shopping, I have some tips for you. So check back in with me in about 30 minutes for those. All right, I can't wait to see that. Always some good tips. It's always fun to watch Tia go school shopping. I don't know I why. Know. I just find it to be such a kick. So um, I can't wait to see the next one.